We are people from all walks of life here tonight in London celebrating the power of soccer and what it can do to help save the lives of young boys and girls around the world. The work the grassroots soccer does is incredible and mental health is an issue that is impacting everywhere in the world so it makes sense that that be the evolution of the work that the, the organization does. They're already in these communities, they're already working with, with brilliant networks, they're already working with young people in the countries with that youth so they're seeing actually what's needed. Grassroots Soccer is providing tools, information and opportunity to people to help themselves and to help their own communities. Football is just so beloved and it's such a great forum to put positive messages out there and, and this one's important, so let's do it. Welcome to the ninth annual Grassroots Soccer World AIDS Day Gala. All of us at the Stavros Nerikos Foundation are honored for this recognition and we thank you. I remember the early days, you know, we were working with a thousand kids a year and it just felt incredible. So today, we've achieved more than I ever expected, working with millions of young people a year through many, many partners. But we've only scratched the surface. I support coaches and I'm really happy to do that because I know I had someone who really invested in my growth and I want to do the same for the next person because really there is no grassroots soccer without the coaches. Kunda and her peers and the GRS skills team and coaches, they put on this GRS shirt and for them they're representing their communities, their families and they're making a massive impact. It's my privilege here to be able to present the Game Changer Award this evening. And it's my particular honor to be able to present it to Ted Lasso. GRS is doing an amazing job. They're creating a dynamic that basically is okay to not be okay. My character Colin's journey throughout Ted Lasso was one of unmasking his true identity, not only with his sexuality, but with the strength to be able to admit that he needed help. We're happy if our fantasy football world can help the wider effort of this real world problem of mental health destigmatization. 65,000 pounds. Adam, sorry.